All right, what's going on everyone? Today I kind of want to do a walkthrough of how I purchased my uh, fourth uh, single family home. So this is the first property that I purchased uh, out of state. My first three were all in California. And uh, I have the Zillow ad pulled up here for the property I purchased. So this is a four bedroom, three bath, uh, 2100 square foot. And this is in Tony, Alabama which is maybe about 15, 20 minutes away from uh, Huntsville, Alabama. And as you can see, I bought it for about $260,000 back in uh, March of 2021. And now it's worth around uh, $335,000. So let's just see how much uh, equity it went up by. So let's take here, $335,000 minus $260. So I appreciate by about uh, $75,000. Right. And for this property, um, they took down the photos here, but this is the outside here. Um, it's a brand new construction. It just finished building in, I think, March of 2021. That's when I bought it. It's a pretty nice property, as you can see here. And let me just pull up a, a similar property that this is my neighboring property here, just to give you a flavor of what's like on the inside. So as you can see, it's... Um, you know, LVP flooring, uh, kind of a light gray neutral tone. They have some nice industrial lights here, some nice wood cabinets. They have a nice backsplash, uh, stainless steel appliances. Uh, looks like this is a uh, quartz countertop, stainless steel sink, modern fixture. They got the matte black um, uh, doorknobs, which is very trendy. Um, so, you know, the bedrooms, pretty simple, just carpet, neutral color. Um, we got a feeling ceiling fan here and let's take a look at the bathroom. So once again, pretty standard. This is a basic vanity. You can buy at Home Depot. They have a shower tub kit here. They have the black matte black appliances. That's a very trendy right now. Pretty cheap fixture like up here. You can buy this at Home Depot for like 50 bucks. Um, this is another bedroom here. Uh, Walk-in closet. Um, another bedroom, so this is a double sink here, um, as well as another shower tub with a shower kit. Let's see. And then, you know, so once again, this is a, a prefab kit. So how you can tell it's prefab is, you see how the tub is connected to the wall? So this is literally just one piece here that they just like inserted in there and glued it in. So this is like, looks like the master bathroom. And it's just all one piece, so it's very easy to install. So you just install this whole tub here, and then you just can install these fixtures here. So it's very easy to clean. There's no grout. There's no tile. Um, so very easy to clean. And you know, this is the backyard with a you know patio. It's hot in Alabama, and a nice backyard of a fence. So just kind of want to show you that property. Um, that's similar to mine. Uh, but what I really want to do is let's just run the numbers here. So let me um, get this document here. And let me get my calculator here. Um, so here, the purchase price was 260,000. So my down payment was 25%. So let's just do some math here. 260,000 times 0.25. I downed 605,000. My my um, loan was 3.5%, 30 years fixed. My PITI equals, that's around 1100. And my property management is 10%. So, and then I rent out this property for 2100. So this is where it gets kind of powerful. So. Let's calculate this even meets the 1% rule. So you're going to take uh, 2100 divided by the purchase price of 260000 So right here, um, it's, it's the 0.8% rule. So it's not quite 1%, but it's a pretty good indicator that I will cash flow. And so if you can't, let's do the math. So on the calculator, my rent is 2100 the property management fee is 10%. So I'm gonna times, my, my effective income is uh, 1890. And here I wanna minus it against my PITI. So it's minus 1100. 
And then I want to minus another, let's say, $100 for uh, maintenance and CapEx for my reserve. So on a monthly basis, I will cash flow net uh, $690 a month. So to calculate my cash and cash return, let's time this by 12. So every year I will, so annual net cash flow equals 82, about 8,300. So let's divide that by the money I put in. So 65,000 times it by 10. So my cash on cash return, A1 equals around 12.7%. So I guess one thing I didn't factor in was vacancy because uh, I, I was, you know, if there's turnover, there doesn't be some vacancy there. But you can kind of gauge that, uh, you know, my cash and cash return is roughly, let's just say a vacancy, I'm around maybe 8 to 10%, um, which is pretty solid, right? So that's what kind of uh, drove me to investing out of state because, you know, I cannot buy, like a condo in California doesn't even cost $260,000. And my goal was, if I'm cash flowing, let's just say, where's my cash flow? $70 a month, if I buy 10 of these properties, then I can cash flow $7,000 a month, right? And for my down payment, it was only 65,000. And I owned a single family home in California with half a million dollars in equity. So let's just say I did a 1031 exchange, you take your half a million, you divide it by 65,000, I can buy seven of these properties. If I 1031 exchange, so if I were a 1031 exchange, one of my single family homes in California, I can buy seven of these brand new build single family homes in um, Hunts in Huntsville, Alabama, and it's a new build, so there's no competition, right? So um, I just need to identify uh, seven properties in six months, and I have my realtor help me do that uh, to complete the 1031 exchange. And worst case, if I can't get seven, I just pay on the capital gain, long-term capital gains tax on whatever is left over, right? So there's no pressure, right? But let's say I only find six properties. Um, and at that point, I just pay whatever is left over in terms of long-term capital gains tax. So this is the strategy that I was thinking about doing until I got into apartment complexes. And my intent was I wanted to retire via cash flow, right? And I could do it a lot faster in out of state versus in California where it's more appreciation. But on the flip side, you can argue that, well, where else would I get half a million dollars in equity or appreciation in like, you know, three to five years? And then that allows me to use that equity to buy single family homes at cash flow, right? So there's an argument for both, right? Like you can get a lot of appreciation and then transfer that to cash flow, or you just can buy cash flow. So, you know, for me, I want to diversify, right? I have some in California, which is more appreciation, and I have properties in Alabama, which is more cash flow. But as you can see, I still made some appreciation, right? I made um, um, around seventy-five thousand dollars in appreciation, and I owned this for about a year and a half. I mean, so maybe in Huntsville, Alabama, I have cash flow and a little bit of appreciation, right? So it's a little bit best of both worlds. And like I said, I bought this property, you know, sight unseen. I, I never went there. I've never even been to Alabama. I'll be honest; I only heard about it uh, from my cousin who just happened to do work trips there uh, I never seen the property to this day I've only seen it via pictures and inspection reports um, when the property was listed for rent uh, they had more photos of it so I literally bought this property sight unseen I've never been to Alabama I've never been to this property and I bought it right so I'm just saying that it, it is possible um, it depends on your comfort level you know I had my property check a lot of photos my inspection report had a lot of photos as well but you know this just buying this property expand my horizon so after this property i started looking at apartment complexes in huntsville alabama i just said wow like i'm buying a million dollar home and in california a single family home in california that can buy me maybe eight to ten units in huntsville alabama and you know if let's say it's a 10 unit and each rents for like nine hundred dollars that's nine thousand dollars a month gross right for a million dollar home in california you know the best i can get is maybe like six thousand or, or five thousand Right, and if my single family home is vacant, I get zero dollars. If my, let's just say I have one unit vacant out of ten, I still get nine units paying me. Right, so that's why I just like, wow, this makes complete sense to do this. And I'm not dealing with day-to-day -day management because I hire a property manager. 
So I'm not taking the phone calls. I didn't even need to see the property, right? So it's not only more cash flow, but it's less headache for me. Cause I, I manage my single family homes versus I don't have to manage my apartment complexes. So, um, you know, once again, overall, I just wanted to show you how I got my first single family home and, and do a little bit deeper dive. And this property was the turning point for me where I pivoted my mindset from single family to apartments. And like I said, I had this mindset shift about even having a mentor, about having a course. And, you know, I kind of wish I had an A through Z course and a mentor to teach me, which would inspired me to create my Making Multifamily course. Uh, link in the description down below. But, you know, if I had the system, I probably would have, you know, bought apartments sooner, right? But, you know, everyone has their own journey, their own path. But I kind of want to help exercise your journey, your path. And you can learn from my experience you can learn from my mistakes um and expedite your journey to get to where i am even faster than what i am right or maybe you don't even want to get to 90 units maybe you're happy with like 25 units so that you don't have to work you know six days a week maybe you can scale down to maybe three days a week and and still work but enjoy your four days off right so everyone has their own different goals and you know sometimes it's just kind of nice to talk to people to flush out your goals you know i, I talk to a lot of people i talk to a lot of mentors and coaches and they helped me find out what my goal is now, right? So, you know, over again, once again, just want to share this video on a deeper dive on my fourth property. And hopefully you found value and some inspiration uh, from this property. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, please like and subscribe.